many different things out, so many ways that God has, God's hand has reached out in my life. I've left so much out. I cannot even begin to describe to you how awesome God is, how glorious He is, who, what the character of God really is. And I'm just excited to learn more about Him in the future and be obedient to Him because true confession in Jesus Christ isn't about saying that I believe in Jesus. You know, it isn't about words. True confession is about obedience and it's about trusting Him and everything. And I pray that my life can really show that. Um, and I do this for all the Muslims who are watching this. I'm doing this for you and every everyone who's just having questions about God. And I'm doing this for those who believe in God and who are, you know have an awesome faith in God. I'm doing this for you as well so that you can see the character of the Lord and just how mighty He is and how majestic He is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jesus or Muhammad. We just watched uh, a living testimony. Uh, a lady that uh, she said she loved her beliefs, she loved Islam, she loved what it represents, and uh, also she was listening to the message of Christ through the uh, Jesus or Muhammad that was uh, introduced to her through ABN here, and uh, she decided to follow Christ. Then again, the enemy tried to uh, tell her, no, your religion was good, and your friends were good, and you're going to miss this and miss that. Uh, it, it is not easy to just uh, say, I'm going to follow Christ and uh, just go on, because uh, there is many questions, many doubts, many uh, things we need to be uh, answered right away. But uh, through all of it, uh, in the end of the story, she decided that Jesus is the way. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. She found the way, she found the truth, and she found life in Christ. Back to David. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to point out what I see as the difference between people who convert to Islam and people who convert to Christianity. Of course, uh, many people convert to uh, Christianity, many people convert to Islam, and anyone, people can convert to any religion for bad reasons. In other words, a person can convert to Christianity for some reason that's 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 really ridiculous. Escape the problems. Like yeah, something like so, yeah, yeah, anything. Uh, I want to convert to Christianity because you know uh, my grandma was a Christian, and so I, I, want, I want to become a Christian too. Something like that. Uh, but the difference is, you can convert to Christianity for good reasons but you can't convert to Islam for good reasons. And what I mean by this is, if, if you notice in Nagin's testimony, she said that when she wanted to investigate the resurrection, for instance, she'd go to an expert, a scholar, on the resurrection. When she wanted to investigate a topic, she went to the experts and did the research uh, before deciding one way or another. And I know people who have converted to Christianity who've done this. Uh, I converted from atheism, but that's exactly what I did. I investigated the resurrection of Jesus Christ before I converted to Christianity. Uh, my, my, my friend Beale from, from college, uh, he uh, studied Christianity for years before converting to Christianity. Nagin, uh, people who convert to Christianity can convert after years of careful study. Now, I'll say this, I have never in my entire life met or, uh, or been contacted by any Muslim who converted to Islam after doing anything remotely resembling a careful investigation of Islam. People all the time say, I converted to Islam. I say, well, why did you convert? Oh, because science confirms the Quran. How does science confirm the Quran? I don't know, but you know, people told me it did. And what I find is that people convert to Islam based on all these wonderful things they've heard about Islam from their Muslim friends, but they never actually have any good reason. They never bothered to actually study it to make sure that what people are saying about Islam is true. Now, if you don't believe me, I'll go ahead and toss this challenge out there. If you are a convert to Islam and you believe that you converted to Islam based on some good reason, please contact us. What is it? Is it, is it science? 
Did science confirm it for you? Is it the perfect preservation of the Quran? They told you that. Uh, is it women's rights in Islam? Why did you convert to Islam? Call us, and I'll tell you what your sources actually say, and I'll tell you if you converted based on those reasons, people tricked you. You were tricked. Um, you were had. Uh, you were hoodwinked. People got you. They, they pulled one over on you. Uh, because when we look at what the evidence says, we find out Islam is not for women's rights. Islam is not confirmed by science. The Quran has not been perfectly preserved. And yet it's so common to hear people uh, convert to Islam based on these reasons that are totally false. So I'll go ahead and toss out the challenge now. Muslims, if you converted to Islam for anything even remotely resembling a good reason, call us in and give us your good reason. And I'm going to show you why it's not a good reason. So there's the challenge. Uh, we're going for... Uh, almost another hour and a half, you've got almost an hour and a half to put your reason together, call us up, give us your great reason for converting to Islam. Because I, as I said, I converted to Christianity based on Jesus' resurrection from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead, therefore if we're going to listen to anyone tell us what we should believe about God, we should listen to him. You don't listen to Muhammad who couldn't perform miracles, you don't listen to Muhammad who had no evidence that he's a prophet of God, you listen to the one who rose from the dead. That's very simple reasoning, and that's very good reasoning. Uh, so, if you've got a reason, give it to us, and I'm going to show you how it fails, and I'll show you how the argument for the, re the evidence for the resurrection is actually successful, unlike the arguments for Islam. So go ahead, give us a call. I want to go back to that testimony. Uh, that she's still living with her family, or she's out, or she has a relationship still going on or um, disconnected? Or? I, I, I don't want to talk too much about her. Uh, about her, her um, I, I, we're I, not I, mentioning addresses or anything. We're just, I want to know in, in general. Well, uh, I, I, know, I know what the situation with her family is. It, it's not good, but uh -huh. uh, I don't, want, okay. to, I don't okay. want to share any details without, uh, without right. her, her approval. So although she lives in America and uh, freedoms that we have, but still she is facing that kind of persecution because she left her religion. And we, and we, we, can, we, we, can, we, we can we can be thankful. We can be mm -hmm. thankful mm -hmm. that uh, the Muslims around her uh, aren't intent on following the commands of Muhammad because <laughs> she's still alive. She's still alive. She's she she's people aren't trying to kill you know, as opposed to Rifka Berry, who was apparently around some Muslims, even in her own family, who say you're going to die. You're going to we're going to kill you mm -hmm. if you don't mm -hmm. if you don't come mm -hmm. back to uh, to Islam. So we can be thankful that, that uh, the, the, the Muslims around the Gein don't have that, don't have that mentality. Right, and many, Muslim, many Muslims in the West don't even know what Muhammad said on the issue of apostasy, so they don't know uh, how to... How I, I know some friends that they either not even leave Islam, they just want to be more westernized, mm -hmm. more independent, yes. mm -hmm. just to go to work like an American lady, to drive a car, to, mm -hmm. uh, and they are forbidden to do that, and sometimes they've been killed yes, because uh, they're yeah, just they, yeah, they have, they getting have, out of that frame. Things, yeah. uh -huh. So... Uh, we still have the privileges here that we have, but still also it's very hard for a Muslim to make that decision to follow.